All right, I saw this interesting question on Reddit. Check this out. We would like to know why is i to the negative one equal to negative i? I think this is really nice looking because it seems that we're just multiplying this and that, right? i times negative one, and we get negative i. You know, this is not true for all numbers. For example, if you want to figure out two to the negative one, is this the same as this times that and say negative two? No, of course not. How do we do this legitimately? 2 to the negative 1 means you do 1 over 2 to the first power. And you work that out, you get 1 over 2. Just real quick, why is this the case? You can look at a pattern. If you have 2 to the third power, this means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the second is 2 times 2, which is 4. And then, of course, let's make this red. Next, 2 to the first is 2. And then 2 to the 0, ooh, what's 2 to the 0? It's not 0. Take a look right here. You go down by dividing by 2, and then divide it by 2. When you go down by 1 for the power, the answer divides by 2, right? 2 divided by 2, you keep the same pattern. 2 divided by 2, we get 1. So 2 to the 0th power is equal to 1. And to get to the negative first power, 2 to the negative 1, right? You see all the powers are going down. Well, again, you divide it by 2. So 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Cool. In general, if you have the negative first power, you can bring that down to the denominator. And that's the key for this question. So when we have i to the negative first power, this right here tells you we do 1 over i to the first power. OK, now what though? Well, here's the deal. I usually don't want to be on the bottom. Let's multiply the top and bottom by i. Well, we are just multiplying by 1, so we're not changing anything. And the beauty of doing so is that this is i to the first times i to the second. Together, this is just equal to i squared which is just equal to negative 1. So we are looking at i on the top over negative 1. And of course, i divided by negative 1, you get negative i. So that's why this is true. Yeah? I think it's super cool. And before we go, I want to show you guys what is even cooler. So this is super, super cool. And I will leave this to you guys to prove it. In fact, if you have x, to the 1 over i's power like this. This right here is actually equal to 1 over x to the i's power. I think it's pretty good looking. Look at that. right? I'm not that good looking. This is really good looking. This is. Look, we have the 1 over i power. All of a sudden, this right here becomes 1 over and then the x to the i's power. Why is this true? Go ahead and try to figure this out. 